Hello everybody. So today I'm going to show you how to use the rain meter discs utility. Uh, what we'll be doing is actually adding a fourth disc so you can follow along with these steps to add however many discs you need. It's basically the same procedure um, over and over until, until you've got all your drives showing. So what you can do is actually right click the discs skin and select manage skin. That will open up the Manage Rain Meter. It should pop up. I believe I already had it open, which is why it didn't pop up automatically. Um, and what you'll see is something like this. By default, you should only see 1 and 2, and I believe it'll pick your C and D drive automatically. Um, my D drive is my system reserve drive, so I'm not really going to monitor that. So I changed it to the SSD I have my games on and I added another drive so now we'll be adding a fourth drive what you can do is basically select edit and we are gonna copy everything out of the three discs.ini and paste it into a new file so once you have the new file you can scroll down to the section that says variables and under variables you will add disk 4 equals and then the drive letter. If you're uncertain of the drive letter you can always open the Windows File Explorer and then go to this PC and it should show you right here. So um, this is also goes for the same if you just need to edit the drive that it is showing you you can change the drive. So uh, what we'll do next is once we've added the drive that we're going to be adding scroll down to this section here where you see measure total disk and measure used disk. So there's going to be two for each drive. As you can see there's total disk one, use disk one, total disk two, use disk two, and so on. So we'll copy the last one here and just paste it underneath. And now what you will do is change it to the drive that you're adding. So likewise if, if there's only one you would change this to two. Um, once you've done that you also need to change the drive variable so disk 4 so now you should see something that says measure total disk 4 drive equals disk 4 measure use disk 4 and drive equals disk 4 uh, after that we'll scroll all the way past this section here and we'll keep going to the bottom uh, what you'll need is the meter lab disk meter value disk and meter bar disk. So you'll select these three and paste them again and what you'll do is change the basically anything that references the last disk to the new value. So again we're, we're doing disk 4 so meter lab disk 4 change the text to disk 4 left mouse up action disk 4 meter value disk 4 measure use disk 4 and measure total disk 4 now it's important you don't change the measure name too if you change that you'll see uh, used this amount out of percent to be so make sure you leave measure name 2 and just change the measure total disk 4 value um, then the last thing you'll need to do is change, as far as the formatting goes, change the <clears throat> meter bar disk to disk 4, and then the measure use disk to disk 4. So if you were to save it and display it like this, you would actually have the last bar over top or underneath the bar you're adding. So you'll actually need to change the y-axis of the bar that you're adding. So as you can see, we added this for there's Y80. You can pick whatever values you want. You can actually go through and make these more narrow if you want, but the default is 20, increments of 20. So in this case, we'll be going from 80 to 100, and then 92 to 112. So once you've done all of that, you should be able to save the file and you'll have to navigate to your rain meter directory so for me it was in documents rain meter skins 
illustro disk and then make sure you save the file as a .ini file. So we'll actually be calling this four disks .ini. And you should see the format pick up if you're using Notepad++. Once you've done that, you can click Refresh All. And when you go back down to the disk section, you should now see four disks. You can click Load. And as you can see, the fourth disk, my F drive, has been added and it is showing that I've used 1.4 terabytes of the 3.6 terabyte. So that's basically all you need to do for adding disks uh, for Rain Meter. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.